Successful database upgrade, very straightforward. You grab 19C software, you get always 19.3.0. Then you add the newest release update, 19.10. If you have OJVM, also the newest OJVM PSU. And then you download the newest auto upgrade, and we will show you later why you need to download the newest. So this is the upgrade, the install part, the patching part. That's always straightforward. You will invest more time, of course, into the performance testing, the performance evaluation part, which starts with SQL plan management, a free enterprise edition feature, SPM. And in addition, you can use SQL tuning advisor. You can use the SQL performance analyzer part of real application testing and some other techniques and tools to ensure performance stability. But we won't cover that. We covered this part in a previous seminar already. Today, we would like to focus on upgrade only. And first question is, which release do I have to be on in order to upgrade directly to 19C? And this slide here applies to upgrades. If you intend to migrate with data pump, with transportable table spaces, another technique, unload your data, whatever, you don't care. But if you do the database upgrade, as we would like to show you today, then you have to be at least on 11.204. You can be on 12.102, on 12.201, or on 18C, and then you can go directly to 19C. But what if you have an older release? I receive emails every week, customers or colleagues asking for 11.203. What do you do then? So at first, in the upgrade guide, you find what is supported right now, direct upgrades. But what do you do with these older releases? Then often the wisest approach is to use an intermediate release. So while we would recommend you to jump always to the newest possible, so in the case of 11.203, I think to remember the newest you could upgrade to was 12.102. And then from 12.102, you can do to go to 19C. So we call this a double hop. Or in very old cases, like with 9.2, you may have to do triple hops, actually. But sometimes you hit also restrictions. For instance, 12.102 may not be supported on the operating system. You have on the server, you host the 11.203 database on. So in that case, you may go to a lower version release, maybe to 11.204, because then you can also go onward. So it depends. There's no clear answer, but usually our recommendation would be go to the newest possible, because most likely, if there were issues before, we fixed them in a newer one already. 